Hello everyone and welcome to the Jucasa Speedway here in Canada for the running of the 11th race of the Mountain Dew Custom Series season. It is the Canadian Tire 100 at Jucasa. It is 35 cars of course here at this short track late at night before the most sport race in the Crown Royal Truck Series. And it's Gunnar Matheson taking the pole, the Canadian in that number 88 on pole. But Alex Peters in second will be the driver to watch. The outside line is godly here. You will be flying off the corner if you can get up to that outside line, which makes it pretty hard to pass up front. But in the back, you'll be seeing some crazy racing. Behind them is Cody Goforth with the number two. As you see, there is no Red Bull logos on that two car. Red Bull has pulled their support from everyone except Sebastian Kukulon and Gatlin Downey. In fourth is Irving Allison for Shade Burkhart Racing. It should be a great race for him in this number 83. And he's starting in the fourth spot with Zachary Fitzwater in fifth. He won the most sport race last year. The last time we were in Canada, he was he was the race winner. Tomorrow, he will be starting from third on the grid in the Salva Racing Team, number 59. And in sixth is J.J. Roberts, a driver who has had three straight DNFs with damage. And now he is all the way back in 11th in points. His championship season over in his final year, but he is still looking to come out of this one with a win. Alex Benyako, a driver in the cha in the points, not the chase. Mountain Dew Custom Series does not have chase, but Alex Benyako, fifth in points, 28 points back behind Colton Lane. And with Colton starting very far back, as well as Jake Galloway, both of those guys looking to make some points happen. And Austin Murray moving to JRI next season. He is 7th in points, but 65 points out pretty much is not going to win this title. And finally, Mitchell Collins Napa has moved on to just the hood here for a very cheap price. But Mitchell Collins finally makes the race. He starts ninth, and in 10th is Luke Rainey. One thing we got to talk about, though, there's that number 91 of Joe Redkowski, who almost shocked the world, beating Austin Johnson almost in the All-Star race. But it came down to the final few laps, and he was just not able to pull it off. Redkowski starts 12th, and he will be driving this 91 uh, for the remainder of the season. There is Anderson Reed, as well as Matthew Brown further back. You got Dusty Neal. There's Bobo Jones. And finally, the number eight gets the show, TJ Hanley, who blew up near the end of the All-Star Open. He is now finally in that number eight. Coors Light finally getting their uh, shot in the light. And you see Jacob Rose a little further back with Eric Monaco. Both of these guys hard hits in the All-Star Open right at the end. And Eric Monaco, good to see him back. There's Colton Lane and Austin Johnson starting pretty far back, as well as Stephen Wallace Jr., Jake Galloway. A lot of points contenders right there. There are five drivers within 30 points of the points lead. Meanwhile, Stephen Wallace Jr. sits 60 points back. He is in the sixth position. He is already almost a race behind Alex Benyako, and starting this far back, most likely will cost him his chance at a title. Austin Murray, DJ Curtis, Mark Silas, Jesse Turner are other drivers who need an absolute showing today. They need to win this race, and they need those uh, top five contenders of Lane, Galloway, Johnson, Reed, and Benyako all pretty much to finish out of this race in the final five spots to make it to make a chance at a championship. Right now, it looks like we'll be having a five-car battle for the championship. The rest of the field, Casey Mears back there. There's DJ Curtis, Jesse Turner, Cody Smart. A lot of drivers in this field not starting where they want to be, but this should be an exciting 30 laps. Let's go down track side for the commands to fire the engines here at the Canadian, Canadian Tire 100. With that, the engines are fired. A .65 mile oval here in Jucasa or here at Jucasa, and we are ready for the 30-lap race with the 35 drivers, seeing who will be able to throw themselves into the title hunt and who will be eliminated as we are, are on the fourth to last race of the season. 11 races have been done as soon as this race is over. Only three will remain after this. Gateway, Talladega, and Kansas are the final three races in the Mountain Dew Custom Series schedule after Jucasa. It's sure to be an action-packed 30 laps. Gunnar Matheson, Alex Peters, expect this number 11, this outside line, to just pull on away and probably go on to win this race. Coming down the front straightaway, green flag is in the air. We're racing at Yukasa, and we are racing 30 laps in Canada. And Alex Peters on that outside line making the move. But you got Irving Allison in that 83. That is two Shade Burkhardt racing drivers right there. And they power off the corner, bringing J.J. Robertson to third and Gunnar Matheson real far back. 
now side by side with Roberts for that third spot. Rest of the field, three wide further back. You got Alex Benyako trying to make some moves. Mark Silas, TJ Hanley, they bounce off into the wall, and Caution is out for the first time today. A lot of damage there. Look at these guys still three wide. That was that was an insane start seeing a couple guys three wide. But nonetheless, it is Alex Peters out in front in that number 11. Remember, he was on the 87 team and the 03. Uh, Shade Burkhardt Racing has bought out his contract with Diego Yepes Incorporated to give him at least a better shot. Now, Peters has fallen back to 13th in points, most likely will not be able to win the title or even compete for it, but a great run nonetheless. And Irving Allison up to second already. He might be able to jump him on this restart here in that number 83, but a crash right away between TJ Hanley, Mark Silas, and Bobby Jones brings us to our first caution. And what happened here, it looks like Colton Lane was all over the back of TJ Hanley and just drives into him, spins him up into Mark Silas, the 87, nowhere to go. So big damage there on the 8 and the 19 from the wall, but Colton Lane just drove right into the back of the 8, turned him into the wall. So bring guys back to the action here at Jukasa after a very early crash, takes out three drivers that were in the mid-pack of the field. Coming back to take the green flag on lap 7 of 30 already here at Jukasa. Alex Peters, your race leader, with Irving Allison in second. J.J. Roberts sits up in third. Gunnar Matheson dropped to fourth. Cody Goforth staunchly in fifth. In sixth, Luke Rainey. Seventh, Austin Murray. Camden Luca up to eighth with a great run for the PNC Racing Team. Ninth, Zachary Fitzwater. Tenth, Nicky Morris. And further back, you got Alex Benyako, the highest of the top five in points, as well as Austin Johnson, Anderson Reed right together. All the way back here, though, is Galloway and Lane. Lane was involved in that crash, and the rest of the field is coasting around. But Alex Peters looking to lead us back around. Green flag is in the air. Can Irving Allison pass him? And we're racing at Jucasa once again. And Allison's going to be right on the back of him, but Gunnar Matheson a little higher further back. Look at Camden Luca, and you can see the power that this 32 and that outside line just pulls off the corner. Mitchell Collins, you also got Austin Johnson, Anderson Reed just powering around Alex Benyaka right now as the field pretty stacked up further back on that inside line. And you see off the corner to the helicopter came that 3 and 44 moving on up on the outside. Turn 4, it's not as strong, but turn 1 and 2, you'll definitely see this 3 and 44 moving right to the front. And look at Gunnar Matson kind of holding him up back there. Now J.J. Roberts trying to get to the inside of Irving Allison. The inside line can be done, but it would have to be with some great momentum. Now Irving Allison trying to make the move. Can he look for the race lead on Alex Peters? He has to go to the outside line to do it. But of course, everyone really likes that inside line. Camden Luca fighting him now. And you see Nicky Morris power off the corner. There's your all-star race winner. Two in a row for that. Austin Johnson moving on up. Zachary Fitzwater really dropping back. But now Anderson Reed and Alex Benyako both moving up. And you see further back, Colton Lane is trapped in the back. Him and Galloway both trapped in the back, which could be great for the championship hunt between Austin Johnson, Ben Yako, and the other guy of Anderson Reed. And Austin Johnson, he started this race out in the 22nd position. He's all the way inside the top 10, fighting Camden, Luca, Austin Murray, and more. But Anderson Reed as well started pretty far back. Now he's going to move around teammate Austin Murray as they go. Uh, on their charge toward the front. Alex Benyako as well, just trying to hang on. But Reed now going on the very outside. Luca drops back. That's going to be another three spots gained for Anderson Reed. And Austin Johnson already inside the top six, right in this battle for the race lead. But as they run, Shade Burkhardt racing, doing very well. You got Peters and Irving Allison first and second. And Luke Rainey back here, your Texas winner. He's in fifth right there with Gunnar Matheson and J.J. Roberts kind of in the middle. Now Anderson Reed looking to the inside on Cody Goforth. He has to try to make some kind of move. Gunnar Matheson might have the outside line coming off this corner now. Cody Goforth especially will over Reed. And Luca slides up. It looks like sliding up off the corner is not as good as what you want to do. You also got the 47 of Bobo Jones. You got Nicky Morris, Logan Bradley. There's Benyako kind of struggling back here. Now the 14 is up to the outside line, but how far will he be able to gain as we go over halfway? And Jake Galloway, the 48 team, Texas Star Racing has really hit a wall, and it looks like his championship hopes are going to be done. He has not performed at all like he did the first half of the season. There you see TJ Hanley at the very back. Now Luke Rainey making a move for fourth. JJ Roberts, could he go with them? Now they're going to try for a move on Irving Allison down into turn number three, and he dives in trying to slide it up on Irving, but the outside line should prevail, and that it does. Now he's going back after teammate Alex Peters down to the inside of Alex Peters. Can he make the inside line work? No way will it, but he won't let Peters pull too far away, 
but Peters is up there nonetheless. Austin Johnson now looking for a top five run. This three car has torn his way through the field and he's moving. Now you got the leaders nose to tail still once again as they come off the corner and Anderson Reed's going to pick up a spot, put him into P7 and Reed only 26 back, Austin Johnson 21 back. Taking a look at where Colton Lane is, he's starting to charge through the field up into the 18th position, so won't be too much of a gain if these guys uh, continue to run where they do, but it should be good enough to put them back into the conversation. However, everyone going to the inside of Lane is not really helping the guys who want him stuck on that inside line. Now Austin Johnson on the outside of Gunnar Matheson. He's tearing his way on through. Now looking for a move on Luke Rainey. Rainey's going to jump to the inside of J.J. Roberts. Now Austin Johnson is up there. Can Irving Allison try to stay in second? Shade Burkhart racing 1-2-3 right now. But now J.J. Roberts throws to the outside on that 83. He should be able to take the second position away. And Austin Johnson might be able to get up into third. Now Irving slides up the track trying to play a little defensively for Alex Peters. But give that second position now to J.J. Roberts as we are down into the final 10 laps. Laps. Uh, coming around this time to the final 10 laps and Austin Johnson up to third could be moving for second this could be something that Colton Lane does not want to see because this has been his season for JRI he's been the star driver but Austin won at Kentucky last race and now he's up here in fourth caution is out it looks like Mark Silas went around and we will have a late race restart in this for Alex Peters to try to defend but he will lead them back around Irving Allison on the outside of Johnson will not get it in time and the rest of the field will just come across. Colton Lane, though, has moved up to the 17th spot. These guys better start getting worried, but Jake Galloway has moved himself into 22nd. A little bit of contact between Duncan and Bo Bobby Jones back there as they were getting into it, but I believe it was Mark Silas once again getting involved in an incident here, and we will be inside probably five laps to go when we go back green, so it should be a chaotic restart nonetheless here in the Mountain Dew Custom Series Canadian Tire 100 at Jucasa. We'll go ahead, take you guys, see what happened here in turn number three. And it actually happened in turn four, but it was DJ Curtis all over the back of Mark Silas, just turning him off the corner sideways and spinning him into the wall. Taking a bit of a slower look at this, you see DJ just coming off of the corner right on the back of that 19, spins Silas into the wall. So the second crash today, Silas is involved with. We'll get you guys back to the action in just a little bit for the final few laps at Jucasa. Lights on the pace car go out. We'll be going back green this time by with only five laps to go when we go back green. A caution will end this race. We'll see what kind of restart we see. But it is Alex Peters in front. He's led this entire race. But J.J. Roberts on this restart is going to be the best time to get him on that outside line. Roberts starts second. And Austin Johnson, do not count him out. He came from 22nd to 3rd. He's looking for a race win. Irving Allison just looking for a top five as well as Luke Rainey. The Shade Burkhardt racing guys up here. But Anderson Reed up here inside the top 10. Alex Benyako just outside of it. Colton Lane trying to stop the bleeding in his points lead. And we're coming on down. Five to go at Jucasa. It is Alex Peters, J.J. Roberts. Green flag is in the air. Roberts with a horrible restart. And we're back racing at the Jucasa Motor Speedway. And it's not going to happen this time, but Luke Rainey's going to be able to jump Irving Allison. That's going to put that double zero up into the fourth spot as he now chases down Austin Johnson. You got Camden Luca further back. Now Reed on the inside line is not where he wants to be. Alex Peters, JJ Roberts first and second. Third, Austin Johnson, he's again just trying to gain himself some points. Now, you see Jake Galloway, he's there with Colton Lane. He has to finish ahead of him to try to gain some spots. Now, Galloway might be able to pass that 14. What a run Galloway's having on this restart. At least he's not going to lose anymore on that 14. Now, on the outside of him, might be able to make a move on Nicky Morris. But up front, it stays the same. Alex Peters with just three laps to go as J.J. Roberts. Now, Austin Johnson shoved to the outside. That's where you want to be. Just remember that where did Camden Luca come from up into the sixth spot as well as the zero I forgot this car was in the race that's Matt Sladek now Shade Burkhart racing they are looking for a full top five run with this win now JJ Roberts to the outside of Peters some contact there can JJ Roberts win it he's on the outside pulls around on the outside that is the lead for the Everham 39 coming to the white flag and Alex Peters no one thought they'd be able to pass the leader just because of that outside line being so strong but JJ Roberts is gonna do it white flag pulling away from Alex Peters and Roberts three crashes 
He did not DNF at Kentucky, but Texas was horrible. Coming on through, Everham has not won since Anderson Reed last season at Pocono. And coming into turn number four, they're going to do it. J.J. Roberts in his farewell season. He might not win the championship, but he will get his first career win in the Mountain Dew Custom Series. And everyone rushing across the line. Where did the points guys finish? Austin Johnson, P3. It, uh, Anderson Reed really dropped to 14th. Galloway to 15th. Lane 19th. Benyako 18th. So Johnson will gain a lot. Lane was able to stop the bleeding on the 14, 48, and 53. But Austin Johnson now throwing it in. Everyone's crashing onto pit road. Just uh, don't worry about that. And we'll like take a look at the pace car instead. Thank you guys for watching the Canadian Tire 100 here at the Jucasa Motor Speedway. And JJ Roberts gets to celebrate in victory lane with his team with Texas Star Racing, their alliance partner, because he has done it. He wins his final season in the NSDCA. At least he will be able to go out on top in one race. Thank you guys so much for watching the race here at Jucasa. And we'll see you guys next time. For the most sport race in the trucks, the first race of the chase for them with seven races to go for a championship there and only three races left. Again, Gateway, Talladega, and Kansas are our final three for the Mountain Dew Custom Series. We thank you guys so much for watching here at the Jucasa Motor Speedway. We'll see you guys next time on the NSDCA.